hopefully we'll have a very exciting session for you. My name is Adrian Wagg. I'm a geriatrician from Edmonton. We have a, a good faculty, uh, largely to uh, highlight the close collaboration of both uh, ICS and, and IUGA. Uh, we have two uh, of their eminent uh, members, also who are members of ICS, of course, as many of us are, um, to talk about highlights of the IUGA meeting held in Nice earlier this year, uh, followed by a more complex contemplative discussion around ICS, where it's uh, come from, some of its key developments and points in its history, uh, and that's going to be uh, delivered by um, uh, uh, an ICS great, uh, Ted Arnold, followed by uh, a current ICS great, Marcus Drake, who's going to talk something about scholarly output and activities, followed by uh, me uh, telling you about a bit about ICS and the challenges we face, and uh, with your help, uh, in a hopefully an interactive way, um, pointing the way ahead. So uh, without further ado, I'd like you to hand over to um, Emmanuel chartier Caslier, who is going to tell us about some of the highlights from Ayuga, followed by um, the eminent Timothy Dudley Robinson. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adrian. So we are pleased with Dudley Robinson to give you a 20 minutes of overview about the last Ayuga meeting. Uh, probably you remember that the previous one was in Washington, and before to Cape Town next year, which was in Nice in June, and I was very pleased to co-chair this meeting with Brigitte, uh, Brigitte Faton, a gynecologist from Nîmes. So just to remind you that uh, Nice hosted the 40th Congress of Ayuga, you have the pictures of the local uh, scientific committee with uh, a lot of people you know, gynecologists and urologists, and it was the third Ayuga meeting in France. The first one was in Nîmes and the second in Paris as a, a joint congress with ICS in 2004. And so, uh, as we will speak about science and the summary of the main scientific points, don't forget that as it was the 14th, 40th Congress, it was a good moment for celebration. And you may see here the picture of the gala dinner where I was with uh, Brigitte Faton and uh, a part of the uh, Ayuga board and the celebration with a huge cake made of uh, more than 2,000 macarons. So, <laughs> After, uh, before uh, to have a f uh, good dinner, we had to prepare a good congress, and the congress was uh, 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 very original because it was a co-chairmanship with uh, what we, I used to say, the most urologist among gynecologists, Brigitte Faton from Nîmes, and myself, I should be the most gynecologist among urologists, and I am from Paris. So all together, we have been able with the Ayuga Scientific Office and all uh, local committee to build a very and fantastic congress. Uh, we have to thank Willie Davila and Bob Freeman because they trust us. And uh, uh, Dudley, uh, chairing the scientific committee, will give you uh, uh, an overview of the main scientific point of this congress. We were more about 2,000 participants among 2,000, so it was a great success. And there is no congress without sponsors. And I would like at this moment, as we are giving some overview of this Congress, to thank all sponsors who took part of the success of this Congress, and I hope they will still support Ayuga as they did this year. So it was a busy Congress, and uh, we did some specific sessions with many state of the art sessions. At each end of the day, after podium or all sessions, there were some many state of the art sessions, and it was very appreciated as a summary of the topic of the session made by uh, some key opinion leader on, in the topic. Most of the session were translated, and I would like just on, to underline that this Congress was joined with the second World Congress on Abdominal and Pelvic Pain. And it's probably one very important uh, decision which was made by Ayuga at the moment we organized it. It was to have this Congress combined with Abdominal and Pelvic Pain Congress, chaired by Jean-Jacques Labat on the picture. And the summary of their program, you may find it on the internet, was very original. And not only original, but very helpful for all of us who are more dedicated to pure urology or pure urogynecology. 
and a fantastic program was uh, uh, made more than two years long with a combined session with Ayuga on the Friday morning. And when you see the list of topics which have been discussed, you may see that a lot of specialists, non-neurologists and not gynecologists were there as pain specialists, anesthesiologists, and so and so, and also uh, gastro, gastro surgeons or uh, some anatomists to give us some uh, good overview about the ration, anatomical rationale of pain. So if you just have a look on the pain congress, a uh, lot of uh, attendees were from France, but it was very international, and there were more than 300. We hope this collaboration will be done again because it was scientifically very successful. And just to remind you that this World Pain Congress is a combination of three national or international uh, pelvic pain association uh, to organize it, and the French one will have this next Congress next year in Aix-en-Provence in September. Two other main points before to give the podium to Dudley. There was one live surgery session, which was a one day live surgery session. And it was very uh, helpful because we have been able to go through three operating rooms from Nîmes and to have a lot of urological and gynecological surgeries uh, made by the local colleagues uh, on their patients. And as you may see, the surgeries which have been done in one day it has been a lot of work, and I have to thank all the surgeons and all the local team uh, because they did a fantastic work, and the live transmission was absolutely fantastic. We hope to uh, have the movie on the internet in the future, but at this moment it's not done because we have to reduce it uh, uh, with more shorter video. And at the end of the Congress, we had a very nice uh, roundtable, uh, your gynecological discussion, a very powerful discussion between urologists and gynecologists about intersex fantasy deficiency. Uh, uh, around the challenging cases, uh, uh, four colleagues have been able to give their opinion how to deal with these patients suffering recurrent incontinence because of intersex fantasy deficiency. And probably you, you don't recognize him on the picture, but Dudley is here. He was a part of the panel, and I must say he... he he did a fantastic job because he had to replace somebody else uh, as a last minute uh, talk and he did a fantastic job as always as a scientific chairman of Ayuga and now it's my pleasure to give him the podium for the next summary of scientific issues of this Congress. So just have some pictures of Nice. And for those who don't know it, here are the toilets of the Negresco. 